Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here now that my two obligatory informative videos are done for the day. Let's talk about current events in the online fitness community. Apparently powerlifter Larry Wheels made a video a few days ago and he gave the name of his source. So let me put on my plus five head of weaponsmithing. Work on skill up my crafting a little bit and let's talk about this. Uh, this is going to branch a little bit into my other channel because I do have a firearm and politics channel also. Most people out here don't follow politics that closely. Maybe people aren't aware of what's going on in the uh, law enforcement world right now due to the change in leadership. Uh, this is not the time to be talking about who your drug dealer is. Uh, President Trump is pretty damn serious about cracking down on every major drug dealer of every type of drug in the country. Uh, he's got Jeff Sessions in, in as the Attorney General, and Jeff Sessions has two mandates right now to get all the drug dealers, all of them, and to get all the human traffickers who are buying and selling sex slaves. Uh, by the way, already 1,500 sex traffickers have been arrested this year in the United States. 1,500. That's the reason you're seeing all these drug busts. This is unheard of before, okay? This is unheard of for the past decade. No one's done what's happening right now. Like, you're seeing all these roid people being busted. We've seen the uh, Iron Addicts Miami bust. You've seen the Musclehead bust. That's the tip of the iceberg. All these guys who are popping off at the mouth on YouTube about <laughs> where they're getting their gear uh, you got, and what all they take, you guys are about to get popped. This is no longer an option, all right? We have a completely different set of leadership in this country, different attorney general, uh, different mandates. Drug distribution is being cracked down upon harder than most of us have ever seen in our lifetimes. All these people who've been openly doing their gear stuff, you guys got to stop. Um, I'm just telling you, uh, you clearly are not following politics. You're not following what's going on if you're still doing this. You guys need to pull your websites down. You guys don't need to be open about what you're doing anymore. You're going to get busted. Those days are over. Uh, so Larry Wheels was saying who his dealer is, and he called him Mundo. Uh, a lot of people don't know who Mundo is. And he's saying that's where he's getting his Anadrol, his Deca, you know, other stuff, um, his Nordotropin. Uh, which again, legit nordotropin is not easy to get. So um, here's the thing, Larry. You do know your boy Mundo is under investigation right now. I hope you know that. Uh, maybe you don't know that. Uh, you're out there throwing evidence. You just gave public evidence. You just basically snitched on your dude. Uh, for those who don't know who Mundo is, he's talking about Berto Mundo. Berto Mundo uh, has been previously arrested and uh, convicted of trafficking anabolic steroids in the past as a big-time distributor. All right, he, he has been in trouble before. He also was a previous business associate of, um, what was it called, Live Well Nutrition, which was owned by Dr. Michael Ziegler. Michael Ziegler, some of the people he gave anabolics to, died from the drugs. There was a problem with contamination uh, of some type, and people died who took his products. Uh, again, this was a major deal. This was, was busted. Uh, Ziegler was charged with all this. Uh, so again, Berto Mundo was right there financially connected to Ziegler. Uh, there are people, if we've been following the stuff with the uh, Iron Addicts Miami thing and the WFN bust and all of that, which we've been talking about, I've done videos on it, Johnny Bravo's been doing videos on it, Berto Mundo is connected to that. Berto Mundo has not been arrested at this time for that. But there are people out there saying, this is rumor, that's all I'm going to say, there are rumors. Rumors that Berto Mundo might have been the actual kingpin. All right, that he might have been the original kingpin of WFN, the website that we know Cali Muscle ordered stuff from, that Mark Lobliner publicly pimped, publicly pimped and endorsed, okay? 
that Mike Rashid's business was around and that uh, they sent orders to Mike. I mean, it's, it's all pretty provable that we know Mike Rashid's connected. Uh, Lob Liner, I mean, both of these guys publicly endorsed this company. It was being run out of an office at a gym that Mike Rashid owns. The distribution centers and the manufacturing was all the way over in a city where Mike Rashid lives over a thousand miles away from his gym where the other thing was. That's not a coincidence. Um, you know, this is a big deal on YouTube. Well, there are rumors that Berto Mundo was actually the kingpin uh, behind WFN. All right, at this time, Richard Rodriguez has been charged with that. But there's a lot of rolling and snitching going on involved in a lot of this. And the thing is, because there are people supposedly snitching on Mundo, um, there is going to be a spotlight on him. You've got to keep in mind, he has a known history of this. He has been convicted of this before. Okay? We absolutely know he has a history of this. There are people saying that he's the kingpin of this major bus. You're talking about 10 million dollars in distribution of anabolics over the internet. Now if he's the kingpin of this and there are people saying he was that are going state's evidence Larry you just publicly said that he's your man that you're buying this this and this from him you're taking this this and this also means that you've got it all on hand uh, you probably don't have it legally uh, you know, you're about to, how do I say this nicely? Don't be surprised at this point if the DEA kicks in your door, uh, arrest you for what you have on hand, because we don't live in those times anymore. Boston Lloyd's about to learn this too. We're no longer in that era. You can't jump up on YouTube anymore and say, I take X, Y, and Z without a prescription for it. Because Berto Mundo can't give you a prescription legally for it. Okay. Uh, don't be surprised if they kick in your door. Your video's probably already been downloaded. People are like, why are you saying this? Because it's probably already been downloaded. I promise you the feds have it already. Uh, not that I would know that for a fact, but common sense should dictate that. He's already said it all over the internet. So, you know, you just announced under your real name that you're buying from him. Uh, again, I, your emails have probably already been a warrant for him. They probably already have your email exchange with him. You just snitched on your dude. That's further evidence. As an independent customer who isn't turning state's evidence, trying to get themselves out of trouble, I mean, you, you may have just busted your dude. Probably not the smartest of ideas, all right? You, we don't live in this world anymore where you can give word of mouth and endorse these companies. They're all getting popped. So by you saying Mundo's name, that you're his customer, and you bought this, this, and this from him, you just said it to the whole world, brother. I mean, this is crazy. You know, that's the world that we live in. For so long, we lived in a different world that people all over YouTube have gotten away with getting up and saying what they use, where they get it from, where they buy it. Uh, when they, they know that everything they're doing is a felony. They know they're committing a felony publicly. Uh, they're admitting to it publicly. Uh, and they've gotten away with it because feds just basically didn't care. They didn't care about anabolics in the past. They care now. Whether that's right or wrong, because I believe in legalization of these substances. But they care now. And all you guys who are running your mouths... You're going to get popped. You are going to get popped for this. All right? And some of you guys, I mean, like, Larry, Larry, how stupid are you? You listed your dealer's name to the whole world. Like, don't be surprised if Mundo puts a hit out on you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You're going to watch that. Uh, we don't live in that world anymore. So, you know, again, I think people are about to find a lot of this. I mean, a lot of us know who the biggest distributor is on YouTube. There is a YouTuber who is a big distributor. I'm not saying his name, but everybody knows who it is. 
Uh, I'm surprised <laughs> no one has, has done this to him. Um, but yeah, uh, we don't live in that world anymore. You can't just go around blabbing that stuff. Um, so I'm really surprised after all these busts that have been happen happening uh, that Larry just got up and just said that. Said Mundo's name, said he's bought this, this, and this from him. Uh, when Mundo already has a spotlight on him already, all right? There are people who are rolling on Mundo. Uh, now, again, people need to remember it's not as strong of evidence when people roll on someone because they're trying to get themselves out of trouble. But when an independent customer on top of it just publicly throws it all out there. I mean, seriously, would any of you guys, if you bought crack or meth from someone, would you say their name over the Internet? Yeah, I use this and this and this is who I got it from. Guys, distribution is a felony. And if you're getting it across state lines, because I don't know where Larry Wills lives, I don't know necessarily where Mundo lives, but if you're getting it across state lines, this is a federal felony. Um, I don't know. We've got a lot of stupid-ass meatheads in this industry, though. We have a lot of stupid-ass meatheads who don't know how to keep their mouth shut. All right, and, it, and we clearly see that. You see that with Larry Wheels. We saw it with Lobwiner. Lobwiner's fucking stupid. Let's be honest here. He's trying to play smart now, but he's stupid. He blabbed all of that. Well, I don't know. I don't know if it's how he's doing it legally because you know he can't do it legally. And I don't care. Yeah, you, you, you knew. Rashid, same thing. Mike Rashid admitted, well, uh, he tricked me. He convinced me. Uh, he convinced me it was legal. Are you serious? I mean, you guys are stupid. You are all stupid. You know, it's always people who are kind of like, man, Jason, you look out for people putting hits out on you, the things you say on YouTube. No, man, these guys need to watch for people putting hits out on them. Because you guys are getting people busted with your stupidity. You're all stupid. Every one of these guys are stupid. And the fact that anyone is willing to take advice from people who are this provably stupid, that's the scary part. That's the scary part. These are people who all just admitted to their involvement with felonies on YouTube in front of the international audience. Right there, admitted their involvement. Uh, have linked websites to where you can buy felony products that you can't legally buy and endorse them. Right there publicly for everyone, and they're doing it after we just got an anti-drug president elected who just appointed an anti-drug attorney general and they're popping everybody. Like the level of stupidity. The level of stupidity. I mean, you guys are really feeding into that meathead stereotype. I mean, damn. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.